Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with a daily race B for the current new daily B that is on this week. It's at Laguna Seca, it's six laps and it's in group four on racing soft tyres, which is a nice change. However, it does kind of help some of the power cars a little bit, probably would have been a bit more close with the likes of Megan if it was on racing hard tyres. Now, if you do enjoy these videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we are going to try and see if we can get a result in the Megan Trophy. Trying to restore some glory to this car that hasn't really been that competitive on GT7. But we're going to go around the outside of Turn 1 there and try and hold it all the way around the outside. A bit of a drift going there, but we managed to keep it on the track and up into P4. And now we've got the inside into this corner. So we're into P4. He turns in a little bit early. We had the inside still there. And now we're into P4 and going to see if we can push on for the podium. Up ahead, you can see we've got Sylvia's. We've also got a Cayman there in P2, driven by Bradley there, very fast driver. So this is going to be interesting if we can get anywhere near them up ahead as we're still trying to defend from that Sylvia. And that is a problem with the Sylvia. It's so quick on acceleration. You might get past it, but then it will just come right back up behind you because of the part of the acceleration zones. So into this tricky left-hand corner very tricky corner to get used to it takes you quite a few laps to really start finding your pace on that one because you have to really push it and get aggressive on the exit now into the corkscrew again another corner that can easily make you crash just one little mistake there and you'll be sliding off the track as we work our way on this downhill left corner and just try and let the car coast into the final section so the McGann trophy actually feels pretty nice around here i think there's a few cars that might be able to compete around this track now obviously the sylvia on the straights is going to be immense as we go into the final corner and pull off a rather nice drift there not deliberate just got a little bit too far out on the full width for the track trying to give ourselves a maximum angle in and use a little bit too much width there and drifted our way fully into that final corner but managed to hold it quite nicely and keep that p4 now sylvia is going to try and do what we did at the start and go all around all the way around the outside there but doesn't quite make that work and we managed to hold on to the P4. So now we can probably stop defending too much here now. As we get the line through here, we can try and concentrate on exit speed. And you can see all the cars going through there. Quite close racing going on at the moment. No one's really pulled away too much. You can see the leading two have started to pull away a little bit there. You've got the Cayman a little bit further on as we skip a little bit further on in this lap into the court through. And keep an eye on P4, P5 behind us. As we go into the corner, he loses control of the rear. And that's easily done, and he's going to drop back a few positions there. Now, P3 looks like he's made a little mistake also. That gives us a chance to get into the slipstream for the podium position. And it looks like Bradley at the front is all over the Sylvia, trying to find his way past that Sylvia. But again, that Sylvia is so quick on acceleration. And it looks like Bradley also picked up a two-second penalty there. I'm not too sure why, whether it's through track limits or whether that's through contact. I have no idea why he's got a two-second penalty. But we'll take that and put ourselves up into a podium position in the McGann in our first race on this week's new day race B. Let's see if we can catch up the two Sylvias now. Now, this is going to be extremely difficult because McGann Trophy doesn't have the legs to really overtake the Sylvia on the straights. But we're going to try our best to see if we can get as close as possible. And, you know, people can make mistakes at Laguna. Laguna is one of the hardest tracks to really get in a rhythm off. That's why it takes quite a few races normally to get your feel off this track and start pushing the absolute limits. At the moment, we're driving this very cautiously in this McGann, not really pushing the limits on the braking, not really pushing the limits on the corners either. We're just taking it nice and easy, just trying to make sure we don't crash at the moment as we work our way up this hill and into that tricky left-hand corner. You see P2 very, very close to P1 there, and you know they might start battling. Hopefully, they start battling, and then that will give us the opportunity to maybe go for a move and try and find a way past him. See, P2 has a little look up the inside there, a little bit too far back. I think he thought better of that and decided not to go for it. As we go through the corkscrew and the rear on the McGann just starts to snap there. We managed to save it though, and now we're still in that P3 zone. Near miss there, could have easily have snapped in the McGann and lost us a lot of time, but managed to keep it on the track and still right behind this battle for P1 and P2. So into that final corner, try and get a better exit than what we did before. Try not to drift it in. That time, much more how we should be doing it. Good exit speed. And the initial acceleration on the McGann Trophy is actually really good. The first little pull off the early gears is quite strong in the McGann Trophy, but then it fades massively in fourth and fifth gear. So that's where you're gonna lose your pace with this car. And now into these left-hand corners. And again, you can see, on the lower gears, it's not too bad. The Sylvia isn't actually that, it's probably not even quicker than the McGann in these low down gears. That's why I do think this McGann does have some potential here if you take a bit of time to practice with it and carry the speed through the corners. 
you probably will be able to get some pretty good lap times done with this Megan Trophy and compete quite quite decently against the Silvio, I reckon. Especially if you start ahead of it and you can pull away in some of the corners. It should be quite interesting how this car competes. I think also the Ferrari McLaren will be other cars that will be worth a shot around here. Aston Martin could also be worth a shot on this track. Um, Jaguar, for example, Silvia is going to obviously be very good. So yeah, might be a few different cars that you can actually take on this race with. Um, obviously with Daily Race C being a little bit more enjoyable with the strategy, we've been mainly doing Daily Race C, but this combo was pretty good. You can see getting very close now to P2, he made a little bit of a mistake there, and he hits the kerb a little bit funny, he's onto the gravel, and he's going for a massive, massive spin around there, and yeah, unfortunately for him, that is his race over pretty much, and we are up to P2. So right behind the leader now, we've only got two more laps to go though, can we manage to get into that slipstream enough to try and make a move? It's going to be very, very difficult to get close to that silver. So we're going to go over the line for lap five. And now we've got Bradley also right back up behind us in that Cayman. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on Bradley in the Cayman whilst trying to attack P1 if we can get anywhere near. But you can see as we're going through here, still not really pushing the limits and really hooking it up. But we're managing to stay with that Sylvia at the moment. And you can see Bradley definitely catching us up and going a little bit faster than what we are at the moment. But the good thing with the Cayman as well that Bradley is in is that car is also not particularly amazing on low acceleration. So McGann's pretty good on low acceleration. The Cayman isn't, so we should be able to keep ourselves ahead. Let's see what it's like as we got this hill now. If P1's going to try and break the slipstream, I don't think there was any need to do that we're not going to really gain anything from this far back anyway in the McGann trophy not basically nothing at all so a bit of a pointless loss of time there for p1 as he works his way into the corkscrew again can we manage to get this nicely hooked up up into third gear not too bad could have done it better but we do actually gain a little bit of time on p1 there you can see and also p1 has picked up a penalty now when this happened i thought he's going to have to take this penalty straight away however because of the way the penalty system works, obviously when you pick up a track limit penalty, if you're in the sector where the track limit penalty is, you have to wait until the next lap. So he doesn't have to actually take it here now. And I was thinking at this stage, that's not good because we really wanted to have him close to us for this. With him doing it on the last lap, he's not gonna lose as much time because the finishing line is gonna be just past that penalty zone. So he doesn't have to get back up to speed. So he's probably only gonna lose half a second at very most, four attempts at very most there with that penalty. So. Yeah, we're going to have to get a lot closer than what I am now to be able to get this P1 from the driver in the lead at the moment. We can see Bradley, though, getting very, very close to myself. So we are going to have to go a bit defensive, but he has a little bit of a, another McDonald's internet issue there. It looks like his connection just briefly tries to connect to McDonald's instead of his own and a bit of lag from um, Bradley again there. So he was suffering a bit with this race with the connection. And luckily, we managed to stay ahead without getting lag punted there. Now, P1, as he's going through this left-hand corner, very, very tricky corner. He's looking the distance. He gets it all kinds of wrong. And he is going to gift me a nice P1 at the moment. So now, we're in P1 in the Megan Trophy, taking on some much better cars for this race. And into the corkscrew. And you can see the Cayman right behind us. We're going to have to defend this from Bradley. We go a little bit deep there. However, I have got the inside line with the Megan. we just got to try and get it rotated onto that throttle and into these final few corners now. And again, as we go through this right corner, again, Bradley's connection goes a little bit left and right at this stage. You can see it goes a bit laggy, but overall, we keep that lead into the final corner and out the final corner. And yeah, it looks like he had a bit of lag or connection issues again on that final corner. And we're going to take the P1. An enjoyable combination this week for Daily Race B, I have to say. Um, it's actually better than it's been for a while. Six laps is definitely better than the short races we've had recently. You can actually have a bit of battle in. You see, we started from P5 there and managed to get the win. And that is always a good sign for a daily race B if you can gain a few positions and actually have some racing. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for more content in the future. Bye everyone.